Hello Internet, day 167 of my vlog 365 challenge. Second attempt at doing this. Learn an interesting thing today. If you have an iPhone and it runs out of space, you get no warning before you start doing anything, it suddenly stops recording. And then when you go to start again, it goes, not enough space. So having now spent a few minutes deleting past videos, purging pod, um, listen to podcast, I need to go in and change the settings in, on, the, on the podcast app to say, delete them after a week if I've not listened to them or two weeks, whatever. I'm back. <laughs> anyway, um, today I've lost my train of thought because like I got halfway through a conversation and it, and, and it stopped. So um, today I've been doing what I call storage wars. So, and the TV, there's a TV show out there where I think they open up abandoned storage containers, people auction to bid them, to, to win them, and then they sell the, like, then they have to try and sell the content and stuff. And apparently it's a little bit fake, especially when they did the UK one, apparently. Anyway, um, that's what I bet. Allegedly. <laughs> Answers on the postcode, why that's no shit. Um, so, rewind slightly. So, obviously, we're, we're selling my mum's house very, very soon. And I've had to go through all my things, so things that I brought back from the house, stuff that's up in the attic, like like my entire basically my entire life of belongings. I had to go through throw a lot of stuff out. You know, if I've not missed it in over ten years, do I need it? Do I not need it? Yes, there's a there's a large pile of memories and sentimental stuff. But actually, like we had a flood ten years ago when I first moved out, and a lot of my stuff got put into storage then. And I'd forgotten about that. And there were like boxes of that stuff going, well, I don't need a jacket. I don't need this pair of underpants from over 10 years ago that's just been stuffed in a bag or something. You know, there's a bag of clothes from over 10 years ago. And I go, why is this here? So they just went. But anyway, so we can sell the house, you know, uh, do deep clean it, do a little bit of decorating if we need. We want to clear all my stuff out. So today I've been going around all the different storage companies, not physically on their websites. And... I don't want to say, well, you're playing them off against each other, to be fair, because they all have these, like, price speed promises, and you should do it, absolutely, and keep doing it until you hit a wall. So when I first started looking, I think the, chi well, first started locking the mainstream ones, we were looking at something like, and this is for a 50-foot storage space, the mainstream ones I was looking at was something like um, uh, £17 per week and for the first eight weeks, and they double, because they all seem to be doing this, like, eight weeks half price thing and then I found a very small well unknown one that I didn't really know of I think it looked like an independent one doing it for a lot cheaper so I contacted one of the main firms and spoke to their HQ but I didn't know because I rang the local number and they said they'd honor it and actually beat it by 10 percent about an hour later they said they'd email it to me and they never did um, but their, that it was a quotation their calls were recorded about an hour later the store manager from the local branch rang me and went no we can't do it uh, we don't price match that company because it's not true like for like. And I went, well, the problem is, is your bloke on the phone has said he would and he used the word quotation and the amount. And then so that that has to be bound. Oh, I don't know about that. I can't do that. And and then the HQ guy rang me back up and went, oh, I've been told we can't do this. And I was like, well, we have a problem then because you've used the word quotation, which is legally binding, blah, blah, blah. And in the meantime, because of all this messing about, I'd contacted one of the other big mainstream ones, probably one of the biggest in the country, to go, so-and-so companies quoted me so-and-so, can you, can you do anything, you know, what can you do? And so company one eventually did put it in right to email, came back to me, put it in email saying, yes, they would honour it. And so I'd gone from like £17 something to £11 something. And in the meantime, this other big known brand has just emailed me going, yeah, sure, we can do it for £9 something. So... <laughs> You know, and but on their website, they were, I think they were the most expensive on their quote thing on the website. I think they were something like 17, 18 pound uh, a week. So, you know, they've, they've dropped five, six, seven pound a week just from pushing them. So um, hopefully my stuff, I'll be putting my stuff into storage. I need to look at insurance, whether I go with them, whether I go for an independent or differently, if you could even do it or if it's even worth it. I think they're currently looking at quote me something like four pound a week or six pound a week insurance. So... Um, I suppose the moral is, is is hold people to their quotations, hold people to their price promises, and don't be afraid to shop around. If I'd gone with the first supplier, I would be paying potentially hundreds of pounds more for you know a couple of months worth of storage of stuff than if I'd persevered. And the whole thing, to be fair, only took me half an hour, an hour, but it saved me all that money. So it's well worth doing. And don't be afraid. Pardon me, don't be afraid to push, negotiate, barter, try and do something on the phone. Even a cheeky, I've known of people, even at checkouts, I've gone, hey, fancy dockers and quit off and stuff. 
really recommend Martin Lewis website for all these sort of stuff. But anyway, come out to five minutes. I'm going to go. I like talking about this sort of stuff, but I'm going to go and I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.